Hello friends, welcome back to this video on analog communication. In this video, we are going to discuss the TRF receiver, which is also called the tuned radio frequency receiver. It is a type of AM receiver. So if I talk about AM receiver, we have three types of AM receiver. First is TRF receiver, which we are discussing now. After that, we have superheterodyne receivers. Superheterodyne receivers was introduced during the World War I and it is very popular for university exams as well as competitive exams. The third type of receiver is PLL or phase lock loop which is very efficient and which is used widely. But for exam point of view, superheterodyne receiver is important and we will discuss about superheterodyne receiver as well. So as I said, TRF is an AM receiver. So it is working on the spectrum of AM which is 540 to 1650 kilohertz. Now if I talk about the bandwidth, spec bandwidth of the signal, so bandwidth of one signal should be 10 kilohertz. Now if I talk about the FM, FM has the frequency spectrum 88 to 108 megahertz. I have already told you this and here bandwidth is 200 kilohertz. So to transmit one signal I require the bandwidth of 200 kilohertz. So you can see the bandwidth of FM. So this is the bandwidth of FM. It is 20 times the bandwidth of AM. So now if I am talking about TRF, it is from this bandwidth. So now if I draw the block diagram. So here I have an antenna. This is my receiving antenna. Now this receiving antenna is connected to the radio frequency amplifier circuit. It is also the tuned circuit. So I already told you about the tuned circuit in my previous video and I told you the tuned circuit is used for the selectivity of the signal. So now here this RF amplifier circuit is helping the, the receiver to select the desired circuit. So after that we have demodulator. I have already discussed about a lot of AM demodulator. So this demodulator can be any one among them. After that we have audio voltage amplifier and after that we have audio power amplifier which is connected to the so this is my speaker so here I am talking about the voice signal so here the receiving antenna so first we will see the working of the receiving antenna receiving antenna is extracting the signal from the EM waves which are falling on it so it is converting the EM waves into electrical signals. Now after the receiving antenna I have RF amplifier. So as I already said the RF amplifier has a tuned circuit. The tuned circuit is used, used to select the desired signal and it will reject the other signal. So here this is used for the selectivity purpose. So now it is the, com I already told you the circuit, it's the combination of capacitor and inductor. So I have already told you we have variable capacitor which is used to set the frequency which we have to receive. So now after that we have RF amplifier. RF amplifier is actually amplifying as the name suggests. So it is a class C amplifier. So what does the amplifier do? It increases the gain. So when the signal travels in the wireless environment, 
it gets attenuated so here this amplifier is amplifying the signal so what is the use of class c amplifier it is it is noise redundant and efficient so that is why i am using the class c amplifier in the rf amplifier circuit so after that we have demodulator we can have any demodulator so that should be am demodulator only so demodulator i hope you remember now you have to tell the demodulator is extracting the signal message signal from carrier so or the modulated signal by removing the carrier so the demodulator demodulator is extracting the message signal from the modulated message signal after that now here i have received my information signal now this information signal is fed to the audio voltage amplifier so if i talk about the audio voltage amplifier so here we have an rc coupled amplifier which is used to amplify the voltage so that the received signal can be power amplified so here we are increasing the gain of the voltage so this is rc coupled amplifier after that we have audio power amplifier so what is audio power amplifier doing here we have increased the voltage here we'll increase what the current so here we'll increase the current so that the speaker will be working so the speaker requires high current signal here we have just increase the voltage when we increase the current then the speaker can work effectively so audio power amplifier so it is a class b push pull amplifier so now i have told you about each of the blocks speaker you know now it is converting the electrical signal back into the physical form so let's write that also so now if i talk about the problems encountered in this type of receiver because i said this was the first receiver after that we had super heterodyne and after that we have phase lock loop so because it had some problem so the problem was in quality factor so i introduced the quality factor in my previous video as well so it is equal to f r f upon bandwidth so now if i talk about the am signal so the weakest am signal is having the frequency 540 kilohertz so now if i talk about let's suppose 600 kilohertz signal so i am receiving a 600 kilohertz signal so this is my first case when i am receiving the 600 kilohertz signal the bandwidth i already said it is 10 kilohertz So now you must be wondering that from where I am setting the frequencies can these frequencies be different for AM and FM no because FCC is a body it's an international body which is limiting these things so according to FCC we have to constrain my amplitude modulated signal in this range and the bandwidth would be this so the signal having 600 frequency is received having bandwidth 10 kilohertz so the quality factor would be 60 here now i'll tell you the maximum quality factor the maximum quality factor is 80 this quality factor is required for simple circuit design now if i increase the quality factor after this the circuit design would be very complex so if q is greater than 80 then complex circuit 
सो नाउ वी हैव टू अवॉइड द क्वालिटी फैक्टर ग्रेटर देन एटी सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ द बैंडविथ एज वेल सो लेट्स टेक द सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल सो हेयर आई रिसीव द सिक्स हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट सिग्नल सो हेयर आई रिसीव लेट सपोज द सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट सिग्नल सो सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड किलो हर्ट इज माई एफ आर एफ सो नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द क्वालिटी फैक्टर द क्वालिटी फैक्टर वुड बी सिक्स हंड्रेड अपॉन टेन सो नाउ द क्वालिटी फैक्टर इज वन सिक्सटी विच इज वेरी मच ग्रेटर देन एटी सो हाउ दिस इज रिड्यूसिंग माई इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ द रिसीवर सो नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस सिग्नल सो लेट सपोज वी हैव द मैक्सिमम क्वालिटी फैक्टर रिसीवर सो आई हैव क्यू इज इक्वल टू एटी I have chosen the quality factor 80 receiver. Now, if I take the FRF again to be 1600, so now don't get confused with the quality factor this and this. This quality factor is required. So this is required quality factor. Now we are using. the quality factor 80 receiver in place of 160 quality factor receiver and we'll see what will happen to our signal when it is received by this type of receiver so input signal has the frequency 1600 kilohertz now we'll see the bandwidth so the bandwidth would be bandwidth would be 1600 upon quality factor which is 80 so it would be 20 so now the required bandwidth was 10 kilohertz so each signal in the amplitude modulated spectrum is occupying 10 10 kilohertz so if i talk about the am spectrum so let's suppose this is my am spectrum so this represents the frequency so if i have signal 1 here so this is my 10 kilohertz signal this is my again 10 kilohertz signal now if i receive this bandwidth 20 kilohertz so i am receiving this is also 10 kilohertz so i have to receive this signal but instead of this signal i will receive this signal so for 5 kilohertz i am receiving this a signal i had to receive b signal so for 10 kilohertz i am receiving b signal and for again 5 kilo 5 kilohertz i am receiving c signal so what is this we are receiving three signals instead of one signal so this is called cross talk so cross talk would happen if i am receiving the higher frequency signal with lower quality factor receiver so when i have higher frequency signal and low quality receiver i will always get the cross talk so what is cross talk other signals are also coming and receiving by the receiver so what de what does this mean there would be selectivity issue in the selectivity issue i already told you that in selectivity i need to measure the desired signal so the ability of the receiver to detect the desired signal is selectivity so here the selectivity issue would be there so because of this selectivity issue there was super heterodyne receiver which was evolved so now super heterodyne receiver was discovered during world war 2 and it was very popular from world war 1 to world war 2 so here i'll be concluding my session i'll be discussing about super heterodyne receiver in my next video so stay tuned for that video i hope you like this video if you like it share it with your friends subscribe the channel and push the like button thank you